Mm. Let's see what the racist police is doing, man. Well, every single day, even on holidays, our first responders are out there, of course, working to keep our community safe. They're the people we call when we need help. They run toward danger when others run away. They, of course, save lives. Yeah, and most of Yeah, man, I like that, man. That was a nice um, intro. That was a nice intro, man. I like that, man. Well, every single day, even on holidays, our first responders are out there, of course, working to keep our community safe. They're the people we call when we need help. They run toward danger when others run away. They, of course, save lives. Yeah, and most of the time, we never know about it. Fox 13's Dow Green highlights one of those stories and a reminder for all of us to be thankful for the men and women serving our community. With me being a parent anything involving children your heart stops it was a friday night in november when the call came in when i train my trainees i tell them there's no such thing as a routine call anything and everything can go wrong at any given moment uh, you have to stay on your toes Officer Tyler Smothers was just one street away when the dispatcher radioed. A little girl was choking at a home in Uptown. I immediately saw one of my kids. Officer Smothers, who previously trained and worked as an EMT, grabbed the limp one-year-old. My biggest thing was to clear her airway. And, you know, I immediately went into daddy mode, grabbed her and just started hitting her on the back until... You know, something shook loose. As the little girl recovered and gasped for air, Officer Sons, man. He went there to help Sons, man. Where the podium at? Why don't, why don't Sons say, hey, man. Hey, news news, news station, man. We want to rent out a fucking um, goddamn ballroom or something. Or we want to uh, use the church, man, and get up on stage and have a podium. Can you bring your cameras down so we can talk about this incident with this officer? <laughs> How come some people never want to talk, want to get in front of a podium and a bunch of cameras and have 50,000 people on stage while they talking about incidents with police officers like this? Some people are horrible. Press one. They're horrible. Daddy mode grabbed her and just started hitting her on the back until, you know, something shook loose. As the little girl recovered and gasped for air, Officer Smothers handed her back to a very grateful father. An ambulance got there just moments later. She was taken to the hospital to be checked out. I immediately called my wife and had her FaceTime me, put the baby on the camera, you know, at that point, I just wanted to see my own kids. He has four children of his own, the youngest, the same age as the girl he just saved. Oh, shit. My man is a mud shot, man. He's a, he a, he's a heat shot, man. My man is a mud shot. What do you know, man? <laughs> Get some likes, man. Hit the like button, man. <laughs> yeah, salute to you, man. My man is a mud shark. He don't got them strong glider jeans, man. <laughs> he don't have them. He he don't have them glider jeans, man. Some of y'all, some of y'all got them. Some of y'all don't, man. He don't got them them damn. I guess it's probably just women that got the strong glider jeans, man. Cause we all be having kids with them white women, man. Them kids be looking white, Jack. You know, at that point, I just wanted to see my own kids. He has four children of his own. 
the youngest, the same age as the girl he just saved. I had to take a moment because, you know, people see us and the fact that we're still human gets lost. Um, we're not robots. We see stuff, bad things every day. Some calls are hard to process, but you know, there's still a job to be done and there's other people that need help. And he reminds us in the spirit of Thanksgiving to be grateful for our first responders, the heroes on the front line. It's every officer, every firefighter, every medical staff at all the hospitals. It's all of us. We're, you know, we're, we try to hold it together because, you know, we got in this field to help people. Thank you, Officer Smothers. Thank you, Memphis Police. Thank you to all of our first responders. Daryl Green. Thank you, man. Thank you, Copper, man. Mm. New developments in the suspected road rage death of a moped driver in the Bronx. The victim has been identified as 23-year-old Robert Jimenez. His family says he was set to welcome a child in just two months. Police say he was on a moped when he was fatally struck by a red Honda Civic after some sort of dispute. It happened yesterday afternoon on Fox Street and Intervale Avenue in the Longwood section. Witnesses say the driver was speeding and going the wrong way. His father says investigators told him his son was intentionally struck. Said she won and she go around and and kill him like that, like like an animal. I lost my my baby boy. Everybody's 